trees. More. If you're going to shoot, then shoot me. Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Shoot me!
This is Raiden. Disposal of the C4 in strut D is complete. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat, all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news, either. These are sensor-proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay, it'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I, I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. 
All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg Peter. He's gone for good. <laughs>
freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. Somebody there. Hmm. Hmm? There's somebody there. No, no, Jack, please answer me, Jack.
freeze. <gasps> Don't kill me. Freeze, huh? What are you? Right. Answer me. Right.
Ryden, what's going on? Ryden! Ryden! Ryden, is something wrong? Ryden! Ryden! What the hell happened? Right! Right in!
just there. Hmm? There's somebody hmm? there. Freeze, huh? Everything all right? Right? Right in!
requesting backup units. Raiden! Right, come in. Right, right. Somebody there. Who is it? It's the enemy. I need help. Go! Oh. 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 Is everything all right? Right? Right in!
Jack, is that you? I can't believe it. Stillman's prosthetic leg was all a big lie. Don't be too hard on him, Rose. But he's got no right to go around pretending he's got a prosthetic leg. That's an insult to people who really can't walk. Everyone's got their own reasons. Sometimes, you've got no choice but to lie. You're right. I, I guess it is necessary sometimes. Rose? It's nothing. Well, see ya.